guys, it's Daniela, and this week's theme on Daniela Bodo's Draw My Life. So, it all started on the day that I was born, which just so happens to be on that date that I wrote on the board. So yeah, I um, am drawing myself as a baby, and I think I failed at it. Um, by the way, my drawings are not that great, so just bear with me. So yeah, anyway, that was a very special date because that was the day that I was born. And if it wasn't for that date, then you probably wouldn't be watching this video right now. So I don't really remember much when I was a baby, so I'm really not going to talk about when I was a baby because I don't remember much. So just bear with me here. We're going to fast forward to a few years later. So, um, in 2004, my brother was born, and he is 11 years old right now. Um, yeah, so we're two years apart. Um, two years and one month, actually. But my annoying brother was born, and he is pretty annoying. Actually, sometimes we get along, but not that often. <laughs> but, yeah, so my brother was born. So in 2005, I believe it was, I started preschool and in preschool, I never really talked. In fact, I never talked except for at nap time and at recess. And yes, I did talk at nap time. I was never a big napper at all. I would never take naps and my nap time was more like play time so yeah um, anyway I started preschool in 2005 and I was pretty shy in preschool and in kindergarten um, I talked a little bit but still not that much and yeah however in preschool I made a friend named Lillian and we hung out with each other recess and we had a lot of fun and um, we don't see each other that often much anymore because we go to different schools now but yeah um, we in preschool we were best friends and we would always play with each other at recess and stuff and we had so much fun totally so cool <laughs> yeah yeah so uh, we had a lot of fun together and yeah and preschool ended up um, being not the best not not the best two years of my life but it ended up being pretty good because um, I had a friend named Lillian so yeah so then in 2007 um, is when I started kindergarten and that was also when I started elementary school. So for me, kindergarten is um, the first year of elementary school. So um, yeah, so I started kindergarten in 2007 and um, so I went to a different school that time also. And yeah, and I remember in preschool, I was kind of obsessed with my cubby and I was wondering in if in kindergarten I would get a cubby too, and yeah. So in kindergarten I made a friend named Jordan and we hung out together every single day and we had a lot of fun. So um, yeah, unfortunately Lillian moved to a different school um, so we didn't really see each other. Um, but I ended up making 
a friend named Jordan and we had a lot of fun. We would play at recess together and I also remember at nap time, it wasn't your average nap time, we would basically be allowed to draw in our journals and stuff and that's what me and Lillian would do every day. So yeah, so we would lay our mats next to each other and we would draw in our journals because Again, I was never, I never took naps at all. So then in 2009, which is the year I started second grade, I made these two friends named named Ellen and Leah and Jordan unfortunately went to a different school so we didn't get to see each other that often anymore um, but um, these two girls named Leah and Ellen were in my class and Leah is actually still one of my best friends to this day but Ellen unfortunately moved away a few years later um, so yeah but Leah is still one of my friends today and she's even in a few of my videos, so yeah. decision that I don't regret today and I'm very happy that I made it. See if you can take a guess at what it was and if you guess piano lessons you're correct and a few years later I also started violin lessons but I forgot to draw that in this video but um, I started violin lessons in 2012 by the way. Anyway I still play both piano and violin today. And for Christmas of 2009, I got something that I was really wanting, and that is the Nintendo DS, and I still have it, but I don't play it that much. But um, I was so obsessed with it when I got it, and um, in 2010, I kind of had an obsession over it. And there was this one particular game in general that I was obsessed with. It's called Mario Kart. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but I was obsessed with it, and... <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, anyway, um, I was really, really excited when I got my DS, and yeah. So, third grade went by, and then in fourth grade, um, that is the time when I got my YouTube channel. Um, I never posted anything until over a year later, but um, I was posting a comment, and it wanted me to sign in and that was the time when I would use like my parents accounts to post but it wasn't signed in as either of them so my dad finally made a YouTube channel for me and I never really used it that much and I didn't get any subscribers until I started posting stuff but I created it I created it in 2012 and yeah so fifth grade um I, when I was graduating from fifth grade, which was my graduation from elementary school, um, I remember I got, I, my parents like gave me a graduation gift like the day before the last day of school and um, that was when I got my first phone and it was an old phone and I had that phone up until Christmas of 2014. Yeah, but anyway, um, I was actually really excited even though it was a really old phone and yeah, and I also got a purse, which isn't really a purse, it's more like a backpack thing, like a drawstring bag thing, but I remember like the first week I had my phone, I would literally like use it every single day. Um, yeah, and my purse was zebra print and then it had this pink little strap thing. And right now I'm drawing my phone, um, my old phone that I never use anymore because now I have a smartphone. But um, this old phone that I had, um, like the keyboard was really hard to use. In the summer of 2013, I was, that was when I 
posted my first ever YouTube video and I was at a chamber music camp, camp and there was a composition class and I composed a piece called the hamster scurrying in 12 tones and we had a concert um, and I played it at the concert and my parents filmed me and posted my and posted that video on YouTube and now it has 200 something views and after that I started posting more videos and I eventually got my first subscriber and I was really excited when I got my first subscriber and now I have 236 or something so in sixth grade um, I posted more YouTube videos and I was just on YouTube one day and I came across these channels and I came across this channel called seven supergirls I was like what is this? Like, I was fascinated by it. So I started watching Seven Supergirls videos, and, um, and I got into it. I was like, oh my gosh, because that's, that was before I started seeing all my wowzers. But I really got into it, and I eventually subscribed. And this was about a year and a half ago. I've been watching Seven Supergirls for a year and a half. I still watch it to this day. And I started watching the new video every day, and, um, yeah, and I still do that today, and yeah, and then a few weeks later, I came across more collab channels, and I was like, oh my gosh, there's more? So I subscribed to every single one of them, and I learned that as a group, they're called the Sax Channels, so I watch all the Sax Channels every day now. In 2014, I auditioned for the Sax Channels, that was my first audition, and that is currently my, um, that is currently my only audition and I'm planning on auditioning when they hold more auditions. But I auditioned for the Sax channels and my audition is still on YouTube to this day. If you want to go look at it, um, then feel free to. So I was like really excited to audition. I was like, I need to audition right now. So I literally got out my camera and started auditioning and yeah. And earlier this year, a few months ago, I reached 200 subscribers, and a few months before that, I also reached 100 subscribers, which is one of my most memorable moments, but I unfortunately forgot to draw that part in this video, but that was the date, like that date up there, that was the date I reached 200 subscribers, and I was really excited, so yeah. So that was my life so far, and I know that there will be a lot more memorable, memorable moments in my life and um, yeah so there's going to be a lot more memorable, memorable things that will happen in my life. Who knows what will happen and yeah so peace out y'all.